Morning everyone. Today I'm going to be starting the year four text. It's a really challenging story and it's called Victory by Susan Cooper. So what you should be able to see on the screen is the story and the pages I'm talking about. Uh, but this is all an experiment, so let's see how it goes. So, the front cover, Victory, Susan Cooper. Two lives, two struggles, one battle. Now I'm going to turn over and read the blurb. Sam Robbins is a farm boy, kidnapped and forced to serve aboard HMS Victory, Lord Nelson's ship at the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805. If you want to do a bit of research, pause the video, go and have a look for the Battle of Trafalgar 1805. It is fascinating. At first, Sam is terrified and seasick, but in the rowdy, dangerous warship, he transforms himself into a sailor and survives a fearsome and bloody battle, the echoes of which reach through the years to touch Molly Jennings. She is a modern-day English girl forced to live with her new step-family in America, and she too is fighting a battle against loss and loneliness. This extraordinary time-shifting adventure tells the interwoven stories of Sam and Molly, linked by a mystery. Two lives joined forever by the touch of Nelson, one of the greatest sailors of all time. Now, doesn't that sound exciting? Now, there's a review on here from someone called Philip Pullman, who you might have heard of, and he said... He says, a writer of great integrity and skill, whose influence and importance in the field of children's fantasy will be felt for a long time now. That is a strong review in itself. So this must be a good book. Now, I'm going to turn inside now, and there is a poem, a sonnet maybe, written by William Shakespeare, and it's called The Tempest. Or it's from The Tempest. And now it relates to the story itself. So listen carefully, because there might be some questions about this. Full fathom five, thy father lies. Of his bones are coral made. Those are pearls that were his eyes. Nothing of him that doth fade, but doth suffer a sea change into something rich and strange. Now... I think that's quite a gruesome poem, really, when you think about it. Full fathom five, thy father lies. That means fathoms is a measurement of the depth of water. So five fathoms down, thy father lies. So think about what does that mean? Of his bones are coral made. So the father's bones are now mixed with the coral. So obviously they've, they've sunk. Uh, the Tempest relates, so the title of it, The Tempest... Anybody think, can you do some research? What's a tempest? Hmm, now that might give you a clue as to why the father's bones are at the bottom of the sea. Those are pearls that were his eyes. Nothing of him that doth fade, but doth suffer a sea change. So the sea is changing the body at the bottom of the sea into something rich and strange. So maybe the body at the bottom of the sea has become interesting. And there is where we're going to stop it for today. We will do a little bit more of that tomorrow. Bye-bye.